Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's everybody doing today? It's the man child. Okay, so we got in some more Motu Origins already. I got myself a hold of Leech. Um, yeah, I can't believe the Origins line put out a Leech already. You know, Wave 9 is kind of dropping a little bit, or I got a hold of it early, but it should start, it should start hitting retail next month, and probably the big bad toy store in Entertainment Earth. They're a little slower, maybe a couple months from now if you have the pre-orders in. I think the pre-orders just went up for them, but yeah, we got Leech. Now, what I think is really cool is they gave us Leech in a, you know, a deluxe packaging. Because not only do we get the vintage-inspired sucker face with the little painting, you know, for the for nostalgia if we grew up like that. And we get the action feature, but we also get a head, looks like, with the teeth that's reminiscent of the Classics or 2000X design. You know, our typical crossbow and a pair of hands. We've never seen that before. It's pretty cool. All right, taking a closer look at the back of our packaging. Check that out. That awesome art. A little flying thing there. We got a leech. He has a whole day tongue lasher there. Now, let's see. This is interesting because we have... So, we have the sucker face we know, it seems like. We're going to demonstrate all this, of course. S sticks on glass. And that's cool. I think he still has a button in the back. That was um, identical to the vintage. And <laughs> I got a creepy story with this guy going back to the vintage. I'll tell you uh, once we get him out and start looking at him. But what's interesting, too, is it says a mouth, hands, and feet stick to surfaces. Now, in a promotional art, they did show that. I remember seeing it. The two, he was, like, hanging up on the uh, both front suction cups and the feet. And I'm like, is that just, like, a yeah promotional thing? Or can we actually do that? Because I don't remember the vintage doing that. But anyway... Got our cool cross cell, right? We got all Wave 9. I already did a review on these. Snout Spout. Now, let me drag him in here. I got Snout Spout as well. Be doing a separate review on him, but to show you, a little teaser. And we also got the Roton. I got a feeling we already seen art and, you know, the box packaging for this. Usually with this Origins line, once you start seeing that, like Leech and Snout Spout, they're already in production coming out somewhere, you know, and I just got to find them or wait to get your pre orders, but it's pretty cool they show all that. All right, got our leech out of the package, right? Give him a little look around. Yeah, well, it just, he looks great. It's so fun to have leech. So taking a closer look at the first head, right? It's in the package now. Very reminiscent of the vintage toy from what I remember. I don't have a vintage one anymore, but I remember that sucker face. Yeah, just the head sculpt, the teeth like that, the big red eye. Um, now, of course, we have all this cool articulation, right? We can go left to right. We can go let's back about that far down, which is cool. Back of the head. Now, what's interesting is I thought from the package there was a button on the back. And um, it, it, that's incorrect. There's not. It just pushes on and sticks. And I'll tell you what. This is pretty sticky. I mean, we'll try it on some glass. But if I tilt the camera down, even on this, this is a cardboard background. Look at this. Guy sticks pretty good. I mean, I got to actually break the seal. There's a little tab here, if you can see it. This is how you break your seal, this piece here, from what I noticed. And the suction cups, again, we'll try it on glass. But even that, look at that. I mean, it, it actually works pretty well. And the feet are the same way. Just push them down. Look at that. And there's a little tab to break it. So moving back up to our head area, or we'll go down to the chest. Um, Yeah, it has a cool, uh, you know, horde bat symbol. That's all sculpted and painted on. Um, you had a body. It's a whole all new tooling. Again, there's no button in the back. And I'll, I got a creepy story with that. As, as I said, I'm getting a video. We'll get to that in a little bit. But the body does look smaller to me. It's not as wide as the vintage from what I remember. Now, he is taller. He does look bigger than the vintage. How they Because they were really short and stocky and it's squat pose. You know, something like this. But you know, look at my feet. They're just getting stuck. Um, and the arms and legs are basically retooled. From all the previous figures, it looks like. So, it would have been cool, you know, if we had just bigger arms and legs like Leech is kind of known for. But, I, all right, it is what it is. It's not terrible. He looks fine for what, you know, just the way he came out. And moving down to our um, chest here. Now, obviously, they don't, they just, he can spin back and forth. Again, cool. We never had articulation, right? We already seen the back. And moving on to our arms, right? We can go up, down, spin forward, back, bend at the elbow. Okay, he's got these cool little orange bracers that Leech is known for. This is sculpted on. And we got our suction cups. And this can spin. You can even fold it in if you want to. And it can pop off. Which is so cool, again, with the Origins. There's so many ways we can customize these guys. And now even a guy like Leech with the heads, with the uh, feet, and, you know, the, the hands. And the left arm's kind of the same, but it is. it does have a different type of sculpting. It's like an armor piece on the shoulder. And we have our black horde band, but there's no horde, you know, symbol on it. Um, any articulations, 
again, all the same. Now, my elbow is stuck. I can't really move this. I might have to heat this joint up. I don't want to snap it. It's kind of stuck in an imposition, but it does move. I can see the joint in there, a little hinge joint. And the same thing with the suction cup on the side. It's all the same. Moving down our waist, yeah, it's got the cool, you know, the belt sculpted on. Um, and then it, it's just a, a pad that's all armored. It's all part of his, yeah, he's just a big armored leash guy. <laughs> uh, the legs, so our legs go all the way out. I mean, look at our articulation. That's so cool for a leech now. Um, we can go forward. We can go all the way back. We can bend all the way to the knee. Spin at the boots. Boots got that cool horde symbol paint or sculpted on and painted. And uh, both legs are exactly the same. And then we got our big suction cup feet. And I already showed the tab if you want to break it. And then, um, yeah, the boots, you can spin at the boots. And I think these also spin too. I wonder if you could pop these off. Uh, looks like you can if you want to. I'm not going to try. You got to heat that up because it's really stuck in there. But I think what's cool with Leech, we can break them at the, we should be able to break the boots here. Look at that. That's cool. Let's, let's try, uh, let's try a regular pair of boots on them. Okay, and we got a pair of Hordax boots on Leech's feet. So if you never like Leech with suction cups on his feet, a nice pair of black boots with the Horde symbols, just use Hordax. And black always matches with everything. And here's Hordax with the Leech's suction cup feet, just showing, uh, yeah, it don't match, but hey, you know, he can shape shift. If you're curious what the suction cups look like on another character. So let's try our uh, suction features out, right? We'll try with the mouth first. That's one of my big display cases. I've showed us in tours before. I can show my spawn, all kinds of wacky stuff in there. But... I think Leech wants to get in there. So let's see how the face works first without the button. Wow, look at that. Yeah, he sticks pretty good. Now, like the promotional art, let's push with something like this. We're all four suction cups. Well, let's try to feed first. See if you can hang upside down. <laughs> wow, look at that. Works great. So now let's try our two hands, right? Let's put them forward, spin the mouth away, and uh, no feet. Look at that, hanging pretty good. And let's take these little tabs and, wow, oh, yeah, they really stick on here. I'm amazed by that. Look at that, it sticks perfect with all five areas. That's kind of a side view. And then, Hey, look at that. He's gonna, wow, break the glass. Okay, and just pop these like so. Pop with your finger. It comes right off. Okay, so far he passed all the tests as far as the suction. I mean, he holds well everything. He's easy to break. Now, I don't know if you stick him up there, he's going to sit forever <laughs> or for an hour. Probably pop off. But for what, you know, what you're trying to do, it works great. So talking accessories, right? Check out that head. That's pretty cool. It's like something between the classics and the 2000X Staction. Just for a little comparison, I want to bring in the neck of Staction. It's a leech. I mean, this is the high details you're going to get for a figure, but it's all statue. There's no articulation. See how large your arms and legs are. Well, you kind of see the head. Just um, kind of seems to me where some of the inspiration came from. And the classics, which, of course, goes back to art and leech and some of the uh, comics and stuff like that. But, yeah, it looks pretty cool. The job they did. And this had a head pop so off. Check it out, right? Real simple. Right? Typical ball peg. If you're not familiar. And I just popped our alternate head on. Yeah, it looks great. Um, articulation back and forth. Here you can go down and up. All the way up. Um, when it's in that position, it looks really cool. When you push all the way down, you kind of get a big gap back here. But it's not the worst thing. Now, the mouth isn't articulated. But it is soft enough to where you can, you know, if you want to simulate a chewing effect, it can work. And the teeth and everything move. So it's cool he did that. Yeah, good sculpting. The eyes, the paint. And, of course, we get the typical horror crossbow. It's just all in a bright red. And we also got these cool pair of alternate hands for, you know, in the event you didn't want the suction cups. And there's no articulation on them aside the little hinge joint. And we'll just pop the suction cup off the hand so it's going to snap off like that. And then our hand's just going to pop in like that. I think I got them right. It looks like the thumb's up here. And here's our leech with our alternate pair of hands on. Again, I think I got them right. It looked like thumbs to me. I don't see any images, but whatever. And our alternate head. And the hands can spin up and down. They can go in and out. They got that little hinge joint. So it's kind of that's the only articulation they have. Here's our leech. I put the suction cups back on the hands. I kept the alternate head on. This is crossbow in hand. You want to check out what that looks like? Yeah, I think um, I'm going to leave them once I set up my collection with this head on. I just I like that look better. 
And it wouldn't be fun if we didn't try to mix some heads around, right? Now that we can, uh, yeah, change heads out. Couldn't do that with the vintage, but yeah, we, the Ordax head works. Now you got to push it down really tight. It does have some articulation, but it doesn't hold well because of the design of the hood to this raised armored neck piece. But you can put it on. So if you're kind of curious what that looks like. And just for a little silly customize, and I just want to show another point. I brought a merman. Now, obviously, he's a blue green, the one in the Origins, the first release one. And Leech is the only first character with this extremely dark cream color, which is accurate to the vintage and the classics. But, you know, if you did have another version of Merman, or hopefully it'll come out with another figure that's dark green, or whatever you want to put on him. You can just see that you can use other heads, or, you know, and they articulate, and other pair of hands off character. So I just kind of threw these on just to show you that the customizations that's possible now at leech hands heads and i already showed you the boots but <laughs> you know got to try these things out so once again we got our leech all done up i got the suction face or cup sign now not to get off topic but i want to bring in something that's somebody's asked me in the comments now obviously we have a half a webster here <laughs> this is uh has to do with the evil horde i'm gonna bring in mantena too as well so number one we got our uh, new mantena leech together yeah they look awesome really cool i already now, he's part of Wave 9. I already reviewed him. But, yeah, if you're curious, those two like together. And I brought him antenna while we're on the subject of the Horde because I want to answer a question in the comments that I think two different people suggested. And I didn't try this when I did the review of Mantena. I switched heads. I did all kinds of crazy stuff. But, you know, I didn't want to turn a video in an hour. Can we turn Mantena and Webster into kind of the 2000X look when he turns to a spider? Well, let's check it out. We got the lower legs. Let's pop our Webster on. See what that looks like. <laughs> I mean, sort of, yeah. You know, if you're curious, that looks like. Um, this, the skin tone don't match, but they are different blues, and it is Motu. You can mix it up. But more or less now, with Mantana's lower legs and Webster's upper body, you can kind of do a, you know, we'll call it a Filmation 2000X inspired, yeah, Webster spider look. Now, if you really wanted to make a true like a spider a version of um, Webster in that spider, fo spider form, you would go on eBay, get a neck of spider gremlin, cut the lower half off, you would get a 2000X neck of Staxion's web store, cut that, I mean, phenomenal amount of money to do that, paint it, but that's the way to make that look exactly from 2000X show, to customize it. So I'm just kind of bringing that in, showing for people curious to answer those questions in the comments. Now, one more thing. I think we went over everything with Leech pretty well. Um, you know, we could sit here and customize pop heads and all that kind of stuff. It could be another video, but just we did the basics. But like the art, I wonder if he can stick to a figure. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a tongue lash around Origins, and I have a feeling we're going to get one. But check this out. I, of all vintage figures, I have a tongue lasher. I only have about three or four vintage figures left. So let's see. Let's see if I can. Yeah, if you're not familiar, right? You had a tongue still works. But uh, let's see if he can stick to the back of him. Well, I did get him to kind of hold him, but he's, Bleach is really heavy, by the way, too. He's, he does fall over a lot if you don't position well because of how flexible these things are. They just they seem to kick out a certain way or knee, you know, that kind of thing. But <laughs> he is somewhat holding him. Now, I don't know. All right, and then he's got this big button in the front. I wonder if maybe the front of the chest. Stick on that. Yeah, it's nah, it's just because you obviously need a flat surface. What about the suction cups? Will they work? Probably the same thing, right? Well, yeah, you need flat surfaces, but yeah, it was a good idea. It looked fun. We also got this cool new comic comes with Leech. Night of the Leech. I like that head. comes with the head, right? One we already tried on, the alternate one for the art. I'll open it up. You can pause it, at, pause it check it out. Yeah, the character art is really cool. I like the way He-Man looks. We got Buzz Off. We got our snout spout sitting back there. It looks like the Fright Zone, maybe. Pretty cool. Now, check this out. We got a Slime Pit He-Man. Now, I heard um, rumors that Mattel was working on, or there's a Slime Pit He-Man coming online. Sort of like one door that's going to be coming into Mattel Creations. Probably be exclusive, but I wouldn't mind seeing that. Be cool. Oh, look at this. Got a whole Slime Pit crew. Got Buzz Off. He-Man in. Looks like Zodak. I, know, I guess Mattel's dropping little hints of... Uh, more repaints with those guys. I wouldn't mind seeing that, though. Slime Pit series of figures. Well, let's get all the vintage stuff out first, Mattel, before we get into that, okay? <laughs> but, yeah, pretty cool art. So, before we wrap the video up, Leech is one of those figures for me that definitely, uh, yeah, brings back some memories and nostalgia, put it that way. I always thought he was a cool figure. Probably one of my favorites in the horror line as a kid. 
you know, it's just so menacing looking, just the size, the color, the suction cup features and whatnot. But yeah, I, I thought this one had a button in the back. That would have been cool. Again, for the nostalgia, didn't need it. But I bring that up because, so when I was uh, like a lot of us, when I was a kid, I, I had most of the Mode 2 line. And where I came from, a lot of us collected it, you know. We, did, we really didn't play with our toys. We had spare stuff we played with and whatnot. But, you know, everything stayed in these, just this cool diorama kind of looking thing. For And I was about nine, nine, ten, something like that then. Uh, finally, I moved to the other side of town. About a couple years later, and this is when I'm I'm around the age of eleven or twelve, and I was kind of um, the He-Man line was winding down by that time, and where I moved, like it, you know, nobody, everybody beat their toys up, you know, and uh, I, there was other stuff out, but I had all my He-Man stuff up on tables, and by then, like I said, I had most of the collection. I never had a tourney. There was a few things I never had, but for the most part, I had everything else. And of course, Leech was one of those guys. Um, the house next across the street from me. I want to say, it, you know, uh, well, we moved there first of all because, you know, we, we had bad financial times. My my dad, my you know, the whole thing. So we 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 ended up there too. And he, he called our house a piece of crap. I don't think it was to this day, but the house across the street from us was really run, run down, put it that way. And they had a couple kids in there and I was friends with them, you know, but the, it was what we called the HUD house, you know. Um, they were all on welfare assistance and whatnot. And the parents were... They had they were alcoholics and stuff like that. Put it that way. Um, but I did play with the kids and we got along cool. The thing with that house though is that they had a lot of people moving in and out, and cousins and uncles and all kinds of stuff like that, right? So they had the an uncle and these two kids that came in there, and the one kid's name was Robert. I remember his name, and he was one of the nicest kids. Now I was twelve. I think he was about ten. That I ever met. They were down and out too, but you know that old story. And he came to my house one day, trying not to make this story too long, but he came to my house one day and we went upstairs, me and the kids downstairs, and we were talking about He-Man. Because again, it was kind of something out of the spotlight now a little bit. There's toys around, but he came upstairs and seen my huge collection. Couldn't believe what I had and it was all set up and I never played with it and whatnot. And my best friend was over the time and we were like, Again, I'm around 12. I didn't really feel like playing toys, but it was like one of those things like, hey, it'd be cool to mess around with some He-Man, but you're not messing around with my stuff, you know? So this kid, Robert's like, well, I got a bunch of, I got He-Man toys. So we go back outside. He goes in his house and he gets a Castle Grace. He comes out with this Castle Grace skull and this box of, you know, like figures. And I remember Scareglow. He didn't have a cape. And I, I don't remember all the figures. But I remember Scareglow. He might have had like, I don't know, Evil Inn or something, but one of the figures was Leech. That's what I'm getting to. And I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, Leech. I remember that. So we pulled Leech out. had the big button in the back. And I remember him rattling. It felt like there was something inside of him. I thought maybe parts broke or something. Now we're outside. I'm, we're looking at him. And the button was pretty big and it had a gap in it. And I remember looking at it at daylight. And he's, something came out of it and looked and ran back in. I'm like, whoa, what, what was that, you know? Pushing the button back in, it opened up. It was full of cockroaches. Holy cow. And the antennas, they didn't know what to do. We, I remember dropping the thing, freaking out. And we're trying to, now we're getting a toy. We're trying to shake him. You know, like we're messing around with this thing. And my father always told me at the time. Now, he wasn't home. He said, I don't, the kids next door, my father loved everybody. He was a great guy with kids. He goes, I don't want them next door because the house has roaches. They're dirty over there, like that kind of thing. So what do we do of all things? We bring the leech inside my house. We fill a sink full of hot water and we throw them in the hot water. Man, it looked like the Titanic with the roaches trying to get out. They're boiling. Or like, they just didn't stop. They were coming out. All the small ones, the largest ones, you know, the bigger ones couldn't. It was just disgusting. I mean, we could not get them out. I remember trying to get as many out as we can and taking this thing full of water outside and open a button and just dumping it. I remember just throwing a leech off the ground. I said, you know what? I don't want to play He-Man no more. <laughs> it's just disgusting. So, yeah, that's one of my weird memories and stories going back to uh, with the leech that I, that I remember. <laughs> Good times. So overall, I think this remastered version of Leech for the Origins line is really cool. They did a great job with the packaging, accessories, and that deluxe car layout. I love the fact that we get two heads. We have the one that's just pure nostalgia with that painted suction cup face and a working suction action feature, which also adds fun play value for the kids. The other head gives the collectors a more realistic look, reminiscent to the classics Leech for better collectability or display. And a new addition of the pair of open hands for Leech is also fun to have. So I hope he answers all your questions. I really appreciate everybody watching, and until next time, take care.